The plainest Jane. This is one of my favorite comments here. She says, I loves me some black. And she said, loves me some black news. She says, is it just me or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out? I'm your girl, the plainest Jane. And let's see what's happening in these virtual streets. You ready? All right now. <laughs> this will be a crazy ride. I'm warning you now. What up and welcome back. I'm Jane, the plainest Jane, and I serve surf in the form of black news and celebrity entertainment over here on this channel. Look, y'all know things are always sticky in Hollywood and in real life. And today we're talking about real life. And I've clearly upset some people. I've clearly offended some people and I want to address it. The reason why some people are upset per the community tab, right, which we're going to pull up and, and, and look at a bit later. Um, I left... Far too much room to assume due to the fact that I neglected to provide enough context in me stating that I'm light skinned. Me stating that I'm light skinned prompted people to tell me that I'm brown skinned instead, of which I refute, I disagree. And me posting that two people told me I was brown skinned and not light skinned, and I left it right there. That left the door wide open and people started assuming the worst. And I see some people in the chat, you know, they're like, Jane, you're definitely light skin. And I've come to realize that there is a general consensus. Better yet, there isn't, the general consensus isn't what I thought it was pertaining to how I see myself and me being light skin. My family, my region here in Baltimore, I am not nothing more than light skin, but I'm not anything other than light skin here in Baltimore. I've never been referred to as anything else. And some people took the community tab post and said, oh, two people told you you were brown skin and not light skin. You're saying it as if, and they filled in the blank however they wanted it to. Some people said that, I, I'm i saying that like light skin is superior or better than brown skin. Some people said, well, oh, that hurt your feelings. Did it hurt your feelings that they called you brown skin? Because you want to be called light skin because you think light is right and brown is wrong? And no. It's just not, it, it shocked me that, it, it shocked me, right? If someone tells you you resemble somebody and you just don't agree, right? You'd be like, really? Really? And that was my reaction. My feelings aren't hurt. And I take pride in talking about issues. Let me let me come back a couple seconds, a few steps. I left way too much context. I, I, I left way too much out and didn't provide enough context, right? And for that, I apologize. For the people who filled in the blank, however they wanted to, because they had no, some people had no clue on the community tab post. They had no clue. And they assumed, and I left too much room. I left that gap too wide open for people to assume I, I should have been more specific. I should have been more precise. And some people looked at it like, you think light is better? And no, I think I'm light skinned. This is me with no makeup. That's how I've always seen myself. And I foster conversations about the black experience frequently here on this channel, and I'm not going to stop. And it's a brave thing to do to tackle things like that because color, when you're talking about color, even and especially within the black community, it can be a very touchy subject, a very touchy subject. And I can see why people 
were in a tizzy about it because color is a touchy subject, right? And me fostering conversations about colorism means that I need to speak on skin tone and all of the issues adjacent to that. And I pride myself and the curation of this platform being a voice to and for Black people, Black issues, the Black experience. And so I don't want you all to think that I don't care how offended you are by something that I say pertaining to color. I don't want to leave such a wide gap and say, oh, well, get over it. That's not what I meant, right? Sometimes that's the reaction for other more minuscule subjects or topics. But when it comes to color and the fact that I'm going to tackle difficult uh, uh, you know, issues and, and have these conversations about color, I want you all to understand that I am sensitive to how my delivery and me not providing enough context may offend some people because I wasn't specific enough. And so I'm not afraid to tackle these tough subjects. Talking about color, even within our own communities, is touchy. And with that means that occasionally you'll get things wrong. Occasionally I may get things wrong. And I'm not sorry for saying that I'm light-skinned. I still feel what I feel. You may not see me as light-skinned based off of wherever you are, wherever you're from. It's subjective. You might feel like I'm brown-skinned, right? When I was coming up, it was light-skinned, dark-skinned, and brown skin was in the middle. That's it, right? And so some people under the community tab was like, well, I see you as light brown skin, like combining light skin and brown skin, like, okay, I'm in between those. However you see me is okay. But it doesn't change how I see myself. It's not like I'm trying to hop from one side of the spectrum to the other. And I'm like, I'm a dark skin black. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so I stand firm in not budging because other people see me as something different than I see myself. If you see me as brown skin, okay. One of the the women who who thought that or who, who said I was brown skin yesterday, she said she was from the islands. She's like, I'm from the islands. And if you went over to the islands, you wouldn't be light skin. You'd be brown skin. Because we consider light skin to be like European skin. And my response to that is our scales, right? Our shade scales are totally different when it comes to white shades and black shades. Totally different. It's not the same. I know some white people who are darker than me. It depends on where you are, how close to the equator you are, you are not. You go up north, down south. Whatever it is, right? And so I refuse to run or shy away from any tizzy or disturbance or backlash that I may be receiving pertaining to said subjects. And so, like I said, I do apologize for not being, a lot of people were lost and confused and they automatically thought and assumed, and I'm, I'll, I'll pull up the post and I'll pull up a couple of comments just to let you know, right? This isn't an imaginary problem I'm making up or drama or whatever. Like these are, these people were really upset and they were shocked because they're like, of all people, you, Jane, you, why, you know, because they took it as if it, it was like a dig towards brown skin people or being called brown skin. That's how they took it, right? I obviously don't see it that way. But when we're having conversations about color, I don't want anybody to be offended. And I don't want you all to think that I'm tone deaf when it comes to receiving feedback and obviously a large amount of my, let's, let's be honest. Let's keep it a buck. 99.5% of my audience is black. <laughs> so I'm going to have these conversations and moving forward, I'll be more sensitive and make sure that if and when I reference things like this, I am as specific as possible so that there is no room to misinterpret none. And so if people wanted to know where did this post even come from, well, we, we, we did a live last night and I ended up, this was a live that we did last night about Jaguar, right? Stalking Erica Badu, whatever. And at the end of it, I said, okay, we didn't have a good time. We left and joked, make sure you check out 
the video that I did where I provided a lot of history about um, the tweet that went viral about Holly Berry being white passing, allegedly, and Chloe Bailey not being white passing for X, Y, Z different reasons. And I provided a lot of history and context and nuance to that conversation that wasn't being discussed. And it was a very productive presentation and conversation. It was. And in the midst of that, I just, I'm in the middle of just, you know, talking about me being light-skinned and people, skirt in the chat, you're not light-skinned. I said, well, if I'm not light-skinned, what am I? And that's where it came from. And so that live ended about like three in the morning. So it was 3.30 in the morning when I posted what I, uh, what, what I posted on the community tab. And I wasn't, and not to say I wasn't thinking, but I clearly didn't see the gap in the room left to offend anyone when I posted that. And that's that. So let me pull up, um, let me pull up the post just so that you all can see it. Because I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll face it, like I'll face it head on. I'm not going to run from it, right? Clearly a lot of people had an issue with that. Well over 100 comments and over half of them was like, she's saying light skin is better than brown skin and X, Y, Z. And I'm like, really? But you know what? If I left too much room there because I wasn't specific enough, I apologize for that. That wasn't my intention. And let me pull it up. And I'm giving a genuine apology. You know how a fake apology sounds. Well, if I offended you, then no, I'll take accountability. I should have been more specific talking about color. I should have been. And I'm going to continue to foster more conversations about things like this. And so I just, I, I, I keep my community's feelings in mind when I'm covering such touchy subjects because it is very, very touchy. Okay. So let me pull up this post. Thank you all for watching all 225. Y'all literally just got off of work. Okay. So what is wrong with the size of the screen? Hold on. And shout out to everybody in the chat. And thank you for hitting thumbs up on the video. What do I? All right. So I'll check the comments in a second. I know there are a lot of comments, but I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to be straightforward and direct with what it is that I'm trying to say. So... Let's get in to it, okay? The following video is broadcasting live and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. Okay, and maybe the memes threw people off. I truly thought that the general consensus in, in mass, like collectively was that I'm light-skinned and, and I was clearly wrong. Clearly, there are a lot of different varying opinions about what, what shade I am. Got it. Lesson learned. Okay. So this was the post just so that you understand what it was that I was, what, that I said and what I was talking about. I was told by two people tonight that I'm brown skinned and not light skinned. Good night. So, uh, you know, I posted this, one of my classic memes and this one. I don't know if the memes threw people off or whatever the case was, but something just did not click right with a lot of people. And I understand that. And I want to go through a couple of comments just so that you can see the temperature. You can do a temp check, right? If you haven't already checked it out yourself to see what all was being said, okay? Okay. Um, this person says, it appears the statement is bothering you to the point that you had to reply. Are you upset that you were called brown skin? Think an emoji, right? 28 thumbs up. Someone else said, definitely given that vibe. Someone else said, yeah, very weird, LOL. And I'm like, upset and not agreeing aren't the same things. I'm not upset. But again, I, I, I had a, a white guy sitting at my bar when I bartended years ago told me I look like Yolanda Adams. I said, I get the bone structure, but I don't, I don't look like Yolanda Adams. And so my reaction was like, I mean, I took his money, 
You know, he was he was one of them ones that will come and get two beers and leave a forty dollar tip. So I took his money. But as I told everybody else when I left and talking to my friends and the hair salon or whatever, I'm like, I don't see it. I don't I don't see Yolanda Adams in me. Right. The same way when people say you're brown skin, like I don't see that. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I just don't see that. And, and no one in Baltimore, no one in Baltimore has seen me as something other than light skin. I, it, but I get it. It's, it's, it's a regional thing, right? It's a regional thing. Let's move on to the next comment. The next comment says, um, I think it was under the same person. They said, I agree. She posted this. Let me zoom in so y'all can see it. They said, I agree. She posted this without any context. Why does this matter to her if someone thinks that she has lighter or a darker skin tone? Did she post this because she wanted people to affirm that she's light skin? Even if she considers herself light skin, why does her skin tone matter to her so much? She's a black woman and it's woman. And that's all that non-black people will see when they initially encounter her. Someone else said, right, confused, why do we care? Someone else said, I agree. It's weird to me that she didn't see that others might find this post to be yet another example of light is right and brown is wrong. I hope for better from her in the future. Someone else said, I agree. This conversation is beneath plain Jane to even bring up. Someone else said, yes, indeed, I totally agree. It's too much going on in the world to worry about that you are who you are. And my skin tone doesn't matter to me, quote unquote, like that much. You know, but I've explained my, my, my train of thought and how I saw myself, how my family sees me and how my region sees me. My region doesn't see people who are my complexion as brown skin. That's just not how Baltimore, that's not how Maryland operates, right? But it could be different for everybody. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Next one says, I don't know. I've been watching you for a long time. It's never been a thought, but if I had to describe you, I'd definitely say a brown skin sister, but I don't know. This post is low key speaking volumes though. So I said, what's speaking volumes? What do you assume based on this post? I haven't elaborated at all. So the next comment says, I'm just going through just to highlight a couple of really a, a temp check. Someone said, brown is beautiful. I don't think it was a dig. And I said, I don't think it was a dig either. I was just taking it back a smidge pertaining to this perspective. Okay. And last but not least, here's another one. And I see I've gotten a couple of super chats. I'll get to you in a second. And thank you all so much. I just want to, I want to stay focused because this is really important based off of how I've built my platform, what I pride myself on, the conversations that I've had and the conversations that I I'm going to continue to foster and curate over here on this channel pertaining to colorism, featureism, texturism. And if you're talking about colorism, you have to talk about skin tone, but you've got to do it in a way that's so delicate that people are not offended. There's almost nothing you can do without people being offended, but there was clearly more than two people offended by this. And that's the reason why I'm addressing it. And that's the reason why I'm apologizing because, you know, some feelings were hurt. Um, people misinterpreted or they thought that I was taking a, a, a jab or a dagger. I thought that light skin was superior to brown skin. And that's the complete total opposite of what I stand for and how I've built my platform. And I just want you all to know that. And that's why I'm taking accountability and I'm not playing word Sally Gaines. So I apologize if you took it that way, but no, I apologize for not providing enough context. So Someone says, um, 
why respond to ignorance? Does it matter? And I'm like, does it matter? You know, honestly, I'm curious as to what other regions deem to be dark, light, et cetera, right? I, I didn't know. So when I initially started getting mixed feedback, it was like, well, other areas see me this way, okay? I have conversations about colorism, texturism, featureism, and other things pertaining to the Black experience where these nuances are key to having dialogue and respectable dialogue, may I add, and understanding how different regions see color. I'm genuinely curious and taken aback because all my life I've truly known that I'm light-skinned. And I haven't always wanted to be light-skinned. In other words, I'm trying to see something. In other words, as I get this feedback, I will never make this mistake again. Like, I will never just be like, someone said I was dark skin instead of light skin and just leave a meme and go on about my business. I'll never do that because clearly people feel some type of way about that. And it leaves a lot of room for people to fill in a blank and feel some type of way. So... Hazel comments and says, I get you. Brown skin is a new term to me. When I was growing up, it was either light or dark. There was no such term as brown skin. But I think now some people think light skin is basically anyone, Alicia Keys or Zendaya's complexion or lighter. I've even had people refer to Beyonce and Rihanna as brown skin. And I'm like, where? But I guess people have different opinions on shade, which is dependent on how and where they grew up. It's weirdly interesting and sad at the same time. I'm the same complexion as you and everyone in my family has always referred to me as light skin. So that's what I see myself as too. But some have called me brown skin. And I'll start reading there because this was a lengthy comment. But this is just this, this, this is the temperature of the comment section, right? And I saw somebody in the chat earlier saying, you apologizing for what? I'm apologizing because I'm going to continue to foster conversations about color, right? And I don't apologize much. I can count on one hand how many times I came to YouTube and apologized. I don't do it. <laughs> I don't do it. I, I don't. But this is a touchy subject, which I know. And I want people to understand that when I foster these conversations that I'm not trying to gloss over anyone's feelings or how offended um Leah said just don't say nothing about your skin tone I guess um I care about how the, the the effect right and again if it was just one or two people you can't please everybody every single commentary video I do there's somebody that's that 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 disagrees you're never going to be able to please anyone but I could clearly see that it wasn't just a handful of people here right like I had people commenting on my Jag videos who are Jag super fans and, and, and they think that I'm wrong for, you know, that. Like everything you say is going to be wrong to someone, but this was a bit bigger and this was about something that is a key component and at the core of a lot of the conversations that I desire to foster here. And I want you all to understand that I, I, I hear you loud and clear about and 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 I, and I see where I went wrong with making people feel uncomfortable okay um there was a couple of super chats someone says stop it you are light everyone has different eyes you know i've learned sunstar sent a 9.99 super chat thank you so much i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you so, um, Sunstar says, I respect your mature approach to apologize for those that misinterpreted what you said, but it's insulting to believe that you would ever say one shade is better to better than another. It's utterly ridiculous in my opinion. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. I, I, I feel like it's obvious that I clearly don't think one shade is better than the other. I spent a small chunk of my life really wishing that I was darker because I didn't like my skin tone for whatever reason. But that's a conversation for another day, right? And um, let me see. Come through. Okay. Thank you so much, FameCon, for the 999 Super Chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. And let me go ahead and just read it. When it comes to this subject, you can't change people's interpretations. Don't walk on eggshells on your channel. I agree. I agree. And for some subjects and for some topics, I absolutely will not. Matter of fact, for most topics, I'm not walking on eggshells with people. 
But when it comes to black people who were offended by the post, I want them to understand that it wasn't coming from a mean place. It was 3.30 in the morning. I thought it was obvious to everyone that I'm light-skinned. And I've clearly learned that I'm not light-skinned to everyone. So, okay, right? There's plenty of room for me to not walk on eggshells with a lot of other topics and discussions and opinions. But this is one where I do want to be cognizant of how other people receive what I'm saying based off of the the, the dialogue that I want to continue to have here. So, that, you know, that's I realize I won't be able to change people's perspective. Maker, no maker, whatever the case, you know, I won't be able to change nobody's perspective. But I'm going to explain where I was coming from and take accountability for where I could have done something a bit better, right? I left way too much room for people to assume and interpret. And I apologize for not being more specific. So um, Kiki sent a $20 super chat. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a channel member. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, Kiki says... Jane, you're a grown ah, woman. Forget them folks for real, for real. I, I, I get it. And I totally understand. I do appreciate that. Um, like I said, I I can't even, I can't even remember if I've, the last time or if I've ever apologized on YouTube. This is the only time, but it's, it's because I'm taking my channel in a new direction and I do want to focus more on black topics and I want people to respect my opinion and I, want, I don't want them to feel like I'm trampling over theirs when it comes to their experience and especially because a couple of people said she making it seem like light is right and brown is wrong. Like, let's clear this up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's That was never my intention. People misinterpret it because there was a gap. But I never said light is right and brown is wrong, right? I never even implied that. You could have assumed one way or the other. You could have leaned towards assuming something that was not negative, or you could have leaned towards assuming something that was positive about it. But most people lean towards something negative. And that's okay. That was something that I missed where I didn't see where there was a fence that was going to be taken. So it is it is what it is, you know. Um, so, yeah. That is that. Um, let's see. Um, what other comments are here? One's at the brown paper bag test. It, yeah. I, such a layered discussion, child. It is. Right. I never said that, but people took from that because for whatever reason, whether it was based on how they feel or um, maybe the memes threw them off. Who knows? Who knows? Um, this is one of your businesses. I understand you clarifying. You don't want or need misunderstanding that wouldn't be productive. Absolutely. And um, yeah, I am very, I'm, I'm, I'm very pale. I'm very red. <laughs> Like I said, this is me with no makeup, but like, hey, it is what it is. I'm not here to try to prove that I'm light skin, right? Because if you believe that I'm brown skin, or as some people said, light brown skin, and I, I don't, I, in my mind, I see the spectrum three ways, right? And I really don't. It's it's subjective because if if one person deems someone light brown skin, the next person might not see them as light brown skin. They might see them. As, look for me, I've got three categories: light, brown skin, dark skin. Because that's how I grew up, right? It's like our parents grew up with gay, straight, and bi. That's it. And then we got all these elemental people. Blah, 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 blah. Got all these other letters. And um, and so based off of the scale that I that that I have for me, and I don't speak on other people's like you know skin tone or whatever, but for the scale that I have in my mind and what I go by, I'm light skin. And like I said, it's okay if you see me as something different. If you see me as brown skin or light brown skin or whatever, that's okay. But that doesn't change how I see myself. And that was the point that I was making in last night's video. It's like, really? You see me as brown skin? Well, I don't agree because I'm light skin. 
And the comments kept coming, you're definitely brown skin. You're definitely brown skin. And the same person just kept it, you're brown skin. And I'm like, okay, I don't agree. You can say it as many times as you would like. And I respect it. You know what I mean? Like, those are your set of eyes. This is your perspective. I don't see myself that way. I see myself as light skin. And it's not because I think light skin is superior or anything of that nature. But in order to have an honest conversation, for me, in my opinion, right? In order to have an honest conversation about colorism, right? Light-skinned people have to understand the benefit that they are granted within that hierarchy. And you won't ever be able to have a real conversation about colorism if you're fair-skinned or light-skinned and you're pretending like you don't get light privilege. And that's where I come from with being flat out honest about it. Don't get me wrong. We all get treated like we black, right? Especially with my hair texture. I'm not permed. I'm not whatever, you know, but colorism is real. And sometimes darker people are not treated the same as lighter people. And it's unfair. And there's nothing that we can do to change the world's psyche and how they treat and respect us or lack thereof. So if I were to have conversations about colorism, and pretend I was brown skin based on my scale that I hold in my mind, in my life. I feel like it would just throw the conversation off because I would feel like me calling myself brown skin would be a delusion. I feel like it would be a delusion. I know brown skin people. I know, you know, <laughs> based on my, my perspective, my eyes and how I see things. So in order to have a real conversation about it, I feel like people have to be honest about where they land on on all the different hierarchies in order to really get down to the nitty gritty. And so I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm not light, you know, I, I, I'm just, I, I'm just, I can't do that. <laughs> so, um, someone says you're light above your nose, but, under your neck is brown, so it's a mixture of both. I mean, yeah, no one's face, well, not a lot of people's face is all one, is all one color, right? Like everybody's face is different colors. And that's why when you put on makeup, you contour and you highlight to bring the the different colors back into your face, right? So if if somebody's judging by my neck. Maybe they'll say I'm brown skin. If somebody's judging by right here in my nose, maybe they'll say I'm light skin. But and, and I do have some darker areas, but everyone I've ever come across in life, if I was to commit a crime and rob a gas station and they were running back and they were looking at that footage, it'd be like light skin black woman. Five foot, five and a half, almost five, six. Ran out of here. Wouldn't be brown skin woman. In my opinion, brown skin is the color of the, the, the leather that's over that's over here that I always use as my, as my backdrop. That's brown skin in my opinion. But, that, but that's me. And that's subjective, right? So, you know, it is what it is. And everyone has different eyes. And I've learned that there's a different way and a more specific way that I need to talk about skin color and even my own skin color. When I talk about my own skin color, I need to be more specific about what I need and not leave a gray area or a large gap and room for people to assume because hurt feelings, um, there could be some collateral damage there based off of other people's interpretation. So, They say, I know I definitely get light skin privilege. However, I don't like it. Right. And, and, and you know, and being being honest about it, it, it is what it is. You can't change it. You know, you can't change it. So it's a thing. If I were to act like light skin privilege wasn't a thing and I wasn't a recipient of it, I would be living in, in delusions of grandeur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just not what it is. I have to keep it a buck. So, hey. It is what it is. Someone said, not y'all talking about she's light under her nose and brown down here and there. Child, it, it's a topic of discussion at some point now. 
So, I mean, it, it is what it is. So, um, I wanted to, someone said my hands are very brown. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. Thanks, thanks for pointing that out about my hands that are tan. Okay. My hands are very brown. We learned something new today. Yes, indeed, we did. We learned something new. We think something new. So let's go ahead and Koya says, most people have different colors on their face. Your T-zone might be lighter than the outer. Yeah, your T-zone is definitely typically lighter than the rest of your face. Um. So let's see. Any other comments? Any other comments? Let's see. Ten. They said what Leo got to say. I don't. I don't know. I think Leo. There's Leo up here. And you know, and that's you know, sometimes a color conversation it can be divisive, and that's what I was saying in the. Uh, that's what I was actually saying before we got to that point in last night's live. At the end of last night's live, which is where this whole conversation sparked and came from. I'm like, when we talk about color, it can be so divisive within our own goddamn on community because everybody's perspective is something different. And now you got black people sitting up here picking other black people apart based off of what they consider themselves or how they see people in the world. Um, I don't think that I'm on the cusp of like, I, I wouldn't have a problem with whatever it is, right? I'm just, I feel like I have to be honest with myself and to have conversations like, about what I was going on. So, I mean, it, yeah, it is what it is. So, I, um, let me see if there's anything else. <laughs> he said, child, your hands are not very brown. Child, according to the people, my hands are very brown. I can see that this one is darker than this one. Cause I drive with this one more than the other, but oh, I'm child. You're getting into the technicalities of our hands and knuckles and things. Now, my elbows are definitely, my elbows are definitely, my elbows is dark, okay? But um, let me see. <laughs> so is Leo dark skin or what would be his color? Good question. Good question. I want to say, nah, you're light skinned baby. And and let me just be honest. This title was definitely the title itself was facetious. I am light skinned. I consider myself to be light skinned despite what other people may think. Right. So the title was structured in that way just to the people that think that I'm not, it's just like, okay, I'm admitting to what you say that I am. Not because I still consider myself to be what I am, but you can. Consider me brown skin all you want. I think that I'm light skin. Right? That's what I think. You know? So. You know. It is what it is. <laughs> yes, I, 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 um, girl, you can't say you light skin if people get big mad. I... Hey, Lindsay. Um, so yeah, it, it, you know, it is what it is. I know I'm darker in some places on my face. Um, it is what it is, you know? So that's all I can really say. I'm just trying to scan through the comments. There's so many comments. I really didn't think so many of y'all would be here. Leo's color is pepper. Bye. <laughs> I'm from the Caribbean where we do not deal with racism. However, we deal with the large discrimination against color and classism. Okay. Got you. Um, my elbows are 12 midnight. My, eyebrow, my, my elbows are literally like 11 o'clock midnight. Like they really dark. So that is that... Um, <laughs> it is what it is. I, I, I really didn't know. I've learned something about my own people. 
and how our eyes and our and, and the way that we see things and the way that we see color, it can vary. One person can think somebody's light skin and another person can think they're dark skin. I did have another girl sometime last year argue me up and down that I'm brown skin. And I thought she was the only one. It was so absurd. And so I said that on the live last night and then two people agreed. And I was like, mind you, it was 1,200 people on this live last night. And I said that and two people agreed. And I'm like, really? Does it hurt my feelings? Absolutely not. But I, 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 it wasn't familiar to me. Just like when somebody tells you you resemble somebody that you really don't feel like you look like at all. You like, really? I don't, I don't see that. I just didn't see that. It doesn't hurt my feelings. But there were a lot of people on the community tab like, oh, her feelings are hurt because they call her brown skin because she think light is better. You know, when they say you're making an assumption, you're making an ass out of yourself. I won't. I just thought the the, the assumptions about me thinking that light was better was, I, I found it to be bizarre, but I do apologize. I left that much room for them to interpret it that way and fill in the blank. So I, I, I take my accountability. I take my accountability, child. I take my accountability. All right. Someone said we are hurt collectively. Mm. Compared to my skin, your light skin. People are definitely annoying. How do they say you look like a paper bag? It's darker. Yeah, I mean it. It is what it is. Um. Being upset with someone because they're a state in fact is ridiculous to me. However, I digress. I digress. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Shout out to you, Deeper Than Skin Deep. Um, the color varies because of the different display devices we use and the blue screens and filters. Unless we see someone in person, we don't know their true complexion. I think you have a point there. I think I do think you have a point with that because the way that I look on camera is different than the way that I am in real life. And I noticed that when doing my makeup, like I'll do my makeup and it'll look one way. It'll either look good or bad, right? It'll, let, let's just say it's one day my makeup looks good in person, like on my, in my mirror. And then I'll get on camera and it does not translate that way. And I realized I'm like, okay, well, let me do these things to change my makeup so that it looks good on camera and it looks good on camera, but it looks bad in person with, you know, with the different shades and the blendability and all that. Like, so yeah, and, you know, in person, who said Jaguar is light-skinned? See, y'all, y'all, don't make me go to the bush. Jag is not light-skinned to me. She's brown. So who in the chat said Jaguar right was light-skinned? Baby. I mean, who thinks Beyonce and Rihanna are brown-skinned? I don't know. That's clearly a touchy subject, baby. And I'll just, in the future, I'll just be asking open-ended questions about those things and leaving it there and not stating my opinion. Okay. Who said Jaguar is light skin though? That's the Jaguar right light skin. Let's go to the bush. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really, I I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. I hope y'all get the help that y'all need. I really do. Some of them. Not all of them. All my. <laughs> Jack is delusional. She brown skin. <laughs> Chow. <laughs> if Jag is light skinned, then what am I? What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem? If Jaguar right is light skin, then what am I, baby? Baby, what am I? <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> Thank y'all for giving me something to laugh at in the midst of a video that has been on my mind all day while I was at work. I was at work all day like, I got to clear this up. I got to get this. And I had other videos and stuff that I wanted to bring y'all. 
but I couldn't think about anything else outside of clearing this right here up because I didn't want my people and my core audience to be hurt and to misinterpret and misconstrue where I land and, and, and thinking that my morals are light is right and brown is bad because that's the furthest thing from the truth. So I know once this video is over and I've gotten it out my system, I'll, I'm moving on to the next thing. But I did want to create some clarity because I there were so many people confused and questioning my morals. And as a matter of fact, there's there's one that I want to um there's one that I want to show you all of someone. Let me see. Show you all this really quickly. Okay. So let's take a look at this comment. Not sure why it matters, but you're definitely brown skinned. It's kind of sad you're offended by it though. By the way, you present yourself on camera by the way you present yourself on camera. I naturally assumed you were confident and comfortable in the brown skin you're in, but I was wrong. I do apologize. It's you trying to sun me with these third grade grammatical errors for me, but let's keep going. I said, if you came here to apologize to me because you quote unquote thought I was confident and you thought otherwise, you can honestly go elsewhere. You can keep it. You've misunderstood this post because I left too much room for you to assume. I admit there is some missing context here, but your assumption is just flat out incorrect. So, you know, there were some people that was really in their bag that were really in their bag and trying to take digs at me because they, they interpreted this as me taking digs at brown skin people. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Like the sin says, please don't read my comment. It was mean and I'm sorry. Thank you for saying that. And I do remember your comment. And to be honest, I think we already read your comment earlier um, on screen. Yeah, we did read one of your comments because I saw you actually left a few under the post. Um, but it's okay. Thank you for apologizing. And that's why I wanted to provide clarity. For the people who have already determined that I'm anti-Black or I don't like dark-skinned people or I think that light skin is better than dark people, you can't win them all. <laughs> for the people who already took that and went on about their business, cool. But I wanted to take the time to provide some clarity. And that's what this video is about. So, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, that's that. And, um, let me see and make sure I got, I, I, I feel like I've read most of the comments, um, I feel like I've read most of the comments and I don't want to drag this out. So, oh, let's see. LS people know, light-skinned people know, they just don't want to own up to their part in colorism like whites and racism. Hmm. I'm not really understanding the main point Um, light-skinned people know they just don't want to own up to their part in colorism. Yeah, I think there's something missing here. If, either you're talking about light-skinned people participating in colorism or light-skinned people being a recipient of the benefits of colorism, which is something that, honestly, you can't help, right? Um, but you can call it out and have conversations about how up colorism is so i'm not sure if i'm missing something so yeah um yeah yeah it's okay 
It's okay. If 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 there's no grace, when people took it and misinterpreted, I could see if I flat out said, I could see if I said or even implied that light is right and round is wrong. I could totally understand people walking away. But for people to fill in a blank and to assume that and then go away, I don't fight to get people back. Like I don't I don't fight to get subscribers back. If you're already believing what you believe, then it's best that you break away. Otherwise, you'll stay around and cause tension with the the way that you feel and, and, and the feelings that you have. So it's okay. For the people that left, they left. And that is okay, right? They have the right to be you know triggered or whatever the case is by by the post right and like i said i i apologize so um for not providing enough context so it is what it is it is what it is so um oh you must watch often i that is my terminology i feel like people just determined to misinterpret i say that often about just whatever um, when people, when you explain stuff to people and they are just determined to misinterpret it, you must watch often, but you know what, Blanche, you do watch often. So thank you for stopping through. I appreciate it. I do. I do. Um, you don't choose a complexion. Right, right, right. This was a, a, this was a really good live for me to get off my chest. Okay. Because I, I felt some type of way that I was making other people feel some type of way with something as touchy and important as color among within the black community. Um, it can be the conversation, if not steered correctly, and if there's not enough context, it can be divisive, it can be touchy, and it can make people feel some type of way. And I felt some type of way all day today. I posted that at 3.30 in the morning. I went to sleep. I woke up. I got to work and sat at my desk around nine o'clock. And I'm like, whoa, I've set some people off. And that made me uneasy all day. So I was determined to come, apologize, explain, and I feel better now that I have gotten this, you know, gotten this out, right? And let you all know that I didn't mean any harm. I should have been more specific. And moving forward, I will be when addressing or talking about skin tone. Some people think I'm doing too much. I've seen a couple comments like you shouldn't even have to explain this. This is silly. And I, I get that. I, trust me, I get it. But I owe it to my audience and the people that I hurt to address it. So it is what it is. Okay. So someone says the fact that she has to defend what's clearly an observation most would make. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Tiffany, because I did see you in the comments. I saw you you commented a lot on the post. Um, you said thank you for clarifying. I too apologize for my wrong assumption to your post. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, thank you, little Paulette in the gang. Says you're very kind. My opinion is that this is an example of bullying a light skinned girl. She's not allowed to call herself light skinned. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's a lot of different ways to interpret how people responded to it. I'm like, is it the fact that I called myself light skinned or is it the way that I just threw it up on the community tab that was a problem? Like, which one was it? But I'm like, you know what? I'll fall on the sword. I'll take responsibility. I'm not going to dance around it. I'm not going to come on here and zap off and say, y'all can leave if you don't agree. And I said what I said. And like, I'm not about to come on here and pop off. Like, I honestly didn't mean to offend anybody with that. Um, I really didn't. Thank you, Lily. So, all right. Reading all the comments. Um, I think it's all a cultural thing because you can't check light skin in a race category. It's absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it, that's why it's, it's such a divisive thing to even argue. Now, I could see if I was like the color of 
Legina Gold, Let's, lasagna. I could see if I was a color of lasagna, and I was like, I'm light skin. I'm light skin. It'd be like, girl, what what world are you in? That's so far off. Like you're on the whole other opposite side of the spectrum. But if you feel like I'm brown skin and I'm saying I'm light skin, it's like, am I lying or doing something to really make you feel some type of way? Because the color that you think I am and the color that I'm saying I am are living, I guess you would say, right next door to one another. So we sit up here having these conversations and... And sometimes it can be counterproductive, but you know what? I still had to apologize. Eminem, thank you for the $20 super chat. I do appreciate that. It says just because. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And when was beige brown? Um, yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. We need to go ahead and go. Read this last comment. Black people in general ain't light skin because it's just not what we produce as a whole. But community says is a lighter shade, therefore light skin. I don't see the issue in calling herself light skin. Sometimes I hate the internet. Gotcha. Okay, I hit all my points right now. I'm really just trying to read your comments and engage with you, but I don't want this to be a lengthy video that just draws out um, unnecessarily. I'll go back and I'll read the comments in the live chat and the hard comments y'all put if you're watching the replay afterwards. Thank you all so much for coming through. I really wish I could get to each and every one of your comments, but it would be impossible and we would be sitting here until 10 o'clock this evening. Um, thank you all so much for supporting me. Um, watching this video, understanding where I'm coming from, even if you disagree with however you categorize me, it's okay. Um, I said what I wanted to say. I said what needed to be said, that I needed to get off of my chest just to explain where I was coming from because I didn't mean any harm or any you know ill intent. So I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. Okay. Um, drop some pancakes in the chat. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video if you haven't already, because what you doing, if you ain't hit thumbs up, don't make me hit the brakes and kick you off the bus. Because I will kick you off the bus. All right. Um, y'all make sure to stay beautiful, black, and blessed. I will catch y'all in the next video. Deuces. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.